three, two, one. Hello everybody, I'm Dan, I'm Vinny Tree 2000, I know it's Dan two times, fifth day on Xbox Live, and welcome to my review of WWE Crown Jewel. I know I never had a chance to do the predictions for it because I have been busy working. However, I'm wearing my Suplex City t-shirt as I'm watching Crown Jewel, the kickoff show, and uh, Roman Reigns will be taking on Brock Lesnar in the main event for the Universal Championship. And, well, the, his cousins, the Usos, were on the kickoff show, taking on the Hurt Business. And it was a very good matchup. And the Usos picked up the victory against the Hurt Business. I cannot wait for the second matchup. And I'm going to play, well, the, I say second, I mean the actual proper show, proper show as it starts off. And it's going to be the Hell and the Cell match between Edge and Seth Rollins. I'll see you in a bit. Well, well, well! There we had the Hell in a Cell match. The Radiator Superstar Edge versus Seth freaking Rollins. And it was a hell of a matchup, no pun intended. And the winner of the matchup because of a stomp on the back of the head onto a steel chair was the Radiator Superstar Edge. What a matchup! I could have gone either way. There was even a moment where Surf One was going to kick Edge's head in with a, a chained boot, but nothing happened, and it came out. It was like a low blow with the steel chair, and after that, Edge comes back, hits the stomp on Seth Rollins. One, two, three. The match is over, as we will now go on to the next match. Well, the, the third matchup, or in overall, the second match on the main card was Mansoor versus Mustafa Ali, and it was a really good, interesting match. I liked it, and well, it was Mansoor that overcame Mustafa Ali at the last minute, as uh, Mansoor was in the middle ropes. And he was about, uh, Ali was going to cl climb the top rope and he was about to hit that 450 onto the back of the neck. But he moved out, the uh, man saw moved moved out of the way at the last minute and then hit this nice swinging neck break, springboard neck breaker. And one, two, three, match is over. Mansour is, is victorious. As we will now go on to the next match. Oh my god, and I can't believe I just witnessed a really good match. Just RK Pro went one on one against AJ Styles and Almas for the Raw Tag Team Championship. And they have successfully retained those Raw Tag Team Championships. RK Pro for the win, baby, against AJ Styles and Almas. It was a meh kind of matchup, in my opinion, uh, but. It was an RKO out of nowhere, followed up by a floating bro onto AJ Styles with the one, two, three, picked up the victory. And we go on to the next match. Uh, next match up is the Queen's Crown Tournament Finals between Selena Vega and Dewdrop. And I thought it was gonna we was gonna bring I can't, well, I, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to reveal in I'm a celebrity fashion the winner and the winner of the Queen's Crown Tournament is Selena Vega! Selena Vega is the very first Queen of the Ring or Queen's Crown Tournament winner. She is now the Queen of WWE. Oh my god, this is... I can't believe that I'm staying in shock. I, um, she beat Dewdrop fair and square just like that with her sunset flip powerbomb finisher maneuver. I, I, I can't believe it, but there you go. Queen Selena will rule with an iron fist on the threat in WWE. Wow. Just wow. On to the next matchup, which I am going to presume this matchup. It was the no holds barred 
Falls Count Anywhere matchup between Goldberg, 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 and the almighty Bobby Lashley. And my God, I thought that Lashley was going to win. He came up with a huge strategy of uh, bringing to uh, probably the same uh, chains that uh, Seth Rollins used in the Hell in the Cell match against Edge. By wrapping it around his fist and beating him down with it, took out his knee. I even at one point, you know, thought that it was all over and it was going to be a spear through the table and one, two, three. But no! After that spear, he missed. I, Goldberg hit his spear of his own, hit the jackhammer, and one, two, no! He took off his gloves, he said, This is not going to end like this. Uh, took him down the ramp. Uh, Bobby Lux said, Yeah, you yeah, know what? Well, I've had enough of this. And Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, the hurt business, tried to hang, help out and bring some kidno sticks to the matchup. <coughs> that got taken out by Goldberg. Then Goldberg whacked with Bobby Lashley with the kidno sticks a couple of times. Then Bobby Lashley got back up and spear! Off the top of the ramp, through two tables, one, two, three, and Goldberg with the victory again. Two, as one match each, though. Gentlemen, the new the match, the next matchup was the King of the Ring finals between Finn Balor and Xavier Woods. That doesn't really work, but hey, Xavier Woods, hey, Xavier Woods, a new day member, Xavier Woods versus uh, Finn Balor in the final, the King of the Ring finals, and what a good matchup, back and forth, and then it was this close, this close of Finn Balor of winning them the King of the Ring tournament, when ladies and gentlemen, your new King of the Ring after after well. Getting out of the way of the Kudu Grouse from Finn Balor. Xavier Woods hits that big old elbow drop and becomes the king of the ring. Oh, how Woods. Oh, how Woods. Oh, how Woods. We got a new king of the ring. And his name is Xavier Woods. Baby. With the, oh, I can't believe it. You got you got Xavier Woods as the king of the ring uh, for well from from the time of the, the recording of this reaction but from, because I, mean, I haven't seen the Big E versus Drew McIntyre match yet so for, as far as I know Big E is the WWE champion and Kofi Kingston has nothing yet but hey but it could be the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, like uh, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston for a SmackDown, so who knows? Uh, that could be in their future. If they, could, could they face the Usos in for the Tag Team titles in the future? Won't find out. But anyway, I'm going to watch the next match. In a triple threat match for the SmackDown Women's Championship between Bianca Belair, challenger number one. And challenger number two, Sasha Banks, and of course the champion, Becky Lynch, uh, going into this match as the SmackDown Women's Champion. And she'll also be walking out of this match as the SmackDown Women's Champion. What a triple threat match. I cannot believe in how much time we have left. I have just looked at the time on my uh, on WWE crown jewel that I have on the TV over there. Three hours and 24, 24 minutes that I have watched. And in uh, 3 hours and 54, uh, 58 minutes and 43 seconds of the entire pay-per-view. So that's like 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes left. Brock Lesnar's entrance, Roman's entrance, a scrappy, uh, big manly match in between. That is going to be the next match, folks. As I cannot believe that was a hell of a triple threat match. And i got to give con uh, congratulations to both uh, the EST, Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. 
but uh, at the end of the night, take, it was a uh, roll up out of nowhere from Becky Lynch to retain the SmackDown Women's Championship. But we're, speaking of retain, will Roman Reigns defeat Brock Lesnar and retain the Universal Championship? I'm about to find out next. I'll admit when I'm wrong. I, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed Crown Jewel as much as I did because, my God, we are the main event between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, the head of the table. Here I was, sitting on my bed, watching Crown Jewel, thinking, oh my God, we're going to see Paul Heyman turn. We're going to see him turn. We're going to see him... Betray Roman Reigns, but uh, 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 it didn't happen. It proved all the early marks wrong, including myself. I wasn't marking out here, but for a good reason. I'm glad I was proved wrong as well. It was a great back and forth matchup. There was F5, Spears, Superman punches, everything was suplex scalore from Brock Lesnar. The referee gets taken out in a no disqualification matchup. That's one thing I'm questioning here, but. Paul Heyman's like, you know what? Fight amongst yourselves and throws the championship belt into the ring. And just as when Brock Lesnar looks like he's going to take that belt in a tug of war, and in comes the rest of the bloodline. Super kick! Double super kick taking out Brock Lesnar. And then Roman Reigns grabs the title belt. Wait! Where's Brock Lesnar with the title belt, the title belt and one as the new referee and it comes down to the ring, counts it one, two, three, and that's still the reigning, defending, undisputed, heavyweight, universal heavyweight champion, Roman Reigns. By God, I enjoyed every single last minute of the, from the kickoff show to now of WWE Crown Jewel. The next pay-per-view will be Survivor Series and I will be making my predictions for Survivor Series, whether that will be including Jack and Jay Rock like before. Um, and myself, but until then, until Survivor Series, uh, goodbye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to watch the previous video, click on the video on the left. But if you want to watch the playlist, then click on the video on the right. Also, feel free to click subscribe by clicking on the Master Chief icon on the top.